Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Dear children, myself Sharon, your Sunday school class teacher. Let's learn about singing and worshipping the Lord. This lesson is from Unit 3, Liturgical Hymns. The message from this lesson is that we should learn the hymns in the Holy Kurbana by heart and understand their meaning and significance. Children, let's learn a verse from Psalms 33 1. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Children, haven't you noticed the holy Madbaha? being closed with a big curtain during the middle of the Holy Kurbana? This hymn is sung at that time. All of you please sing along with me. Now let us see what this hymn says. It is a simple prayer to God. We address God as gracious and loving. That means God is merciful. Don't you feel that God is gracious and merciful? Children let's learn meaning of first two lines. Hearken gracious Lord we pray. Knocking at thy door we say. What is the meaning of knocking at the door? When somebody comes to a house, maybe the relatives or poor man for help, he will press the calling bell. But in olden times when there was no electricity, it was a practice to knock at the door. When we sing this hymn, we knock at the door of the gracious Lord for help. Let us, sings the next two lines. Do not thou deny our pleas. Needy are thy devotees. Every day we are in need of the help and blessings of God in everything. It is God who helps us to meet our needs and problems. So we plead with Him not to neglect and forsake us. He is our only refuge. We consider ourselves as the slaves and servants of God who loves us. Children, you all know the story of Samuel, right? What was boy Samuel's reply when God called him in the night? In 1 Samuel 3.10, Samuel said, Speak, for thy servant is listening. We can also speak to God in this way, like Samuel. We pray to God, not to neglect our prayers, for we badly need his help and blessings. Is it not a nice prayer? Next time when we sing this hymn, let us sing it carefully and with devotion and concentrate upon its meaning. Though this is a hymn used in the Holy Kurbana, we can sing this beautiful prayer song at any time. When we sing this in the Holy Kurbana, after the first line we sing Hallelujah you Hallelujah and after the second line we sing Barek Mur Kurye Lai Son. Hallelujah means praise to God. Barek Mur means bless me O Lord. Don't you feel these are good prayers? Now let us stand up and sing this again.
children, let us have a resolution from this lesson that when we take part in the holy kurbana, we sing the hymns with proper understanding. We will submit our needs and problems before God for solution.